Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Stimulus Package Map Pack will be available exclusively on Xbox Live on March the 30th. I'm Andy Ferrant and I'm here with Dan Mayer. Uh, that's Ma. No, it says, it says Mayer here. To sit down, go through these new maps and just see what jumps out at us as a couple of Modern Warfare 2 fans. No, no, it's definitely Ma. So, for the stimulus package, there are five maps all told. Three brand new maps, that's Salvage, Storm and Bailout, and two classics from the original Modern Warfare, Crash and Overgrown. Now, for this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on the three brand new maps, as we can probably safely assume you know the other two, like the back of your gnarled through overplaying Modern Warfare hands. Okay, let's begin with Bailout, which takes place in a war-torn apartment complex for an equal mix of inside and outside. Yes, yeah, so you've kind of got two different types of game going on in this map. You've got the inside short range game and then you've got the outdoors long range one. A lot of the buildings in the apartment complex actually connect so you can make your way across a large section of the map without ever having to set foot outside. Yeah, and as well as that, what this map really does a good job of is scale. You really feel like you're being dwarfed by these huge apartment complexes. It actually feels like a proper city you're fighting your way through. Even the outside sections have a good amount of cars, crates, walls and the like. Uh, the careful player can definitely swing from cover to cover, but it's a shame I'm so insanely reckless. We've got this lovely pool here as well. Why do they have to drain this? In fact, why do we have to fight at all? Can't we just fill up the pool, go get some inflatables, everyone just forget this whole stupid war and we'll play some water polo? Yeah, I'm not sure that'd be a popular game mode. Be like Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball, only staggeringly less popular. Okay, next up is Salvage, set in a snow-laden junkyard, and of the three new maps, it's definitely the smallest. They've actually done a really good job with the atmosphere on this map. The grit and the grime, the cold, the junk. I feel cold just looking at it. Also, I feel like scrapping my car. The other thing about this map is, well, look up. There's nowhere to go. It's all on one level. Simplicity itself, it's not in a bad way. I mean, it's, it's not just a big empty room for you to run around in. It's packed with these little alleyways and roads which have a very, very narrow focus. Yep, and that's really going to separate the skilled from the not-so-skilled. This is going to be one of the fastest, most frenetic of all the maps. Yeah, if you're a running gunner, if you're a like a Twitch shooter fan, this is definitely your map. Every corner is going to be an adventure. Yeah, an adventure where you die. Yeah, that kind of adventure. And last up, we have Storm, which lives up to its name, with an almighty thunderstorm drenching this industrial warehouse map. Now, what's interesting, too, is you look at the map, and it does have these really long sight lines, right? But I feel like they've done a good job of allowing you to tactically move through, so the snipers are going to pick up a lot of the guys who are in too much of a rush, those guys who put their heads down and just charge through. They're the ones who are going to get tagged at a long distance. But I think it's going to be easy to pick up on some of the key landmarks to instantly show you where you are, because once again, as far as the layout goes, it's a fairly big map. There is some interior, but the map feels much Mostly exterior. There is the big warehouse though, there's there's a couple of outbuildings you can get into, a few smaller discrete areas, but your main interior area is this enormous warehouse and it's, it's got a couple of levels to it. Yeah, this might very well be the focal point most people gravitate towards. It's definitely an interesting place to have a shootout just due to the geometry and the complexity of the area. So it's probably best to look at this map as a mixture of salvage and bailout. Yep, it should make some interesting games. Yeah, interesting games that I win. Uh, that would be interesting since it never happens. Well, that's it for this look at the Modern Warfare 2 stimulus package. Yeah, it's out on the 30th of March and it will cost 1200 MSP. Thanks for watching Inside Xbox, everyone. We'll see you on the new maps.